Via CPR and Molecular Geometry, Part 1. All right, so we've been drawing Lewis structures, which is a representation of bonding in molecules, and now we're ready to talk about molecular geometry, or molecular shape. And so what we know is that covalently bonded molecules have characteristic shapes, and it's going to depend on the number of electron domains that surround the central atom. So what we're going to try to answer here for ourselves is why is that, from where does that arise, and then also what are the characteristic shapes for various bonding patterns in molecules. And so remember that covalent bonds are formed due to sharing electrons, so electron pairs are shared between atoms in the molecule, and also remember that electrons are negatively charged. Negatively charged particles repel other negatively charged particles, so electron pairs are repulsed by each other. Basically, they, are, they repel each other and they move away from each other. Now, as these electrons are repelled, they try to move as far apart as they can from each other in the molecule. And so when this happens, then the molecule ends up with a characteristic shape. It depends on the number of atoms and lone pairs surrounding the central atom. So we can see right here, boron is bonded to three hydrogens, and I've drawn it with a trigonal planar shape because this is the farthest away that these two bonds can be from each other. And we're going to see how to determine what the shape should be based on the bonding and the numbers of lone pairs. All right, so what we're going to talk about is something called the VSEPR model. A lot of people say VSEPR, and that's okay too, but it's valence shell electron pair repulsion. And this is a model that's used to predict the shapes of molecules. The really central concept, the thing to keep in mind here, is that bonding and lone pair electrons want to stay as far apart as they can around the central atom. Okay, so here we have a linear molecule. Okay, so there's the central atom, and it's bonded to two other atoms. And the, as far apart as they can possibly be ends up being 180 degrees. Okay, and so when we have, you know, two bonds around the central atom, then the largest bond angle can be 180 degrees, and that's as far apart as possible. Now, I just mentioned bond angle, so when we're talking about the bond angle, we're talking about basically the X, E, X bond angle. Okay, and so that's, that's where that term is coming from, and I'll point that out as we go further through the presentation, too. Okay, so how do we predict geometry using the VSEPR model? It's always going to start by drawing a Lewis structure. So you want to draw the best Lewis structure for this molecule. And then after you do that, then you're going to predict the molecular geometry or the molecular shape based on three rules. And so the first rule, this is the one we're going to talk about in this presentation mostly, and that's the steric number rule. And so we're going to talk about what that is. The second rule is the repulsion order rule, and so that has to do with different types of electrons, whether they're lone pairs, whether they're bo bonding electrons. And finally, a really simplified version of Bent's rule, which is for steric number five. Okay, so the first rule that we're going to talk about is something called the steric number rule. And basically, this rule is used to determine the basic geometry of the molecule. So We'll talk a little bit more about what that means later on. You determine the steric number for a molecule by counting the number of electron domains around a central atom. And so what that means, you're counting lone pairs and bonded atoms. And like I say, we'll talk a little bit more about that too. And that steric number is equal to the sum of the number of bonded atoms plus the numbers of lone pairs that surround the central atom. So you're going to look at the central atom and you're going to count the number of bonded atoms and lone pairs that exist around it. When you add those together, you're going to have the steric number. So there are two types of electron domains that we're going to look at. And one is the lone pairs, and the other are bonds, or bonded atoms. And basically, one really important factor is that any bond is considered just one electron domain. That means that single bonds, 
double bonds, and triple bonds are only counted as one electron domain. So for instance, you would not count a triple bond as three electron domains. For the purposes of VSEPR, it's just one because you're counting bonded atoms. So it doesn't matter if it's a single, double, or triple bond. Okay, so let's do a few examples just counting the steric number. So I've given you the Lewis structure for this boron trifluoride molecule, and what we're going to do is determine the steric number for it. So why don't you pause it and take a stab at it. All right, what we see is that there are three fluorines bonded to that central boron. Okay, so here's our central atom, and three fluorines are bonded to him. So basically, that means the steric number is three. Now, you notice in this case, we don't have any lone pairs, so we don't have to look at anything else. So we have three bonded atoms, so the steric number is three. All right, so try another one. Okay, so this one's just a little bit different. There's still three fluorine atoms bonded, but look, we also have this lone pair. So when we add up the three bonded atoms and the lone pair, we end up with a steric number of four. And so the next rule is something called the repulsion order rule. And we'll talk about this in more detail in later presentations. But the bottom line here is that repulsions between sets of lone pairs, you know, so two pairs of lone pairs on the central atom, those are the most severe. So that means they repel the strongest. I like to kind of say that the lone pairs have sharp elbows and they want everybody else as absolutely as far apart as they can and they take up more than their share of the room. The next most severe repulsion is the, that of lone pairs and bonded pairs or bonded atoms. Okay, so we're talking about a bonding electron pair that's bonding an atom to the central atom. Those are the next most severe. So in other words, anything involving lone pairs is going to be a severe repulsion and lone pair, lone pair repulsions are more severe than lone pair bonding pair repulsions. And finally, the repulsions between bonded pairs, so you know, those bonds that we saw in boron trifluoride, those are the least severe, but they're still really repulsive. So we're just ranking them, but they're all severe repulsions. They repel each other strongly. Okay, and so finally, this simplified version of Bent's rule, but that's going to be in presentation four when we talk about steric number five molecules. That'll be coming up, and so look for that. All right, next up we have part two and it's gonna, we're going to cover rule one and then we're going to talk about the steric numbers two through six and their basic geometries.